What's going on everybody? Welcome to another video. Today, you're going to take a trip with me to the rodeo. What's going on everybody? So today we are at the rodeo. We're going to be doing some rodeo shots. We got some mutton busting, some bronco riding, some bull riding, all kinds of crazy stuff. So stay tuned, man. So how does one get involved in the rodeo? You know, it's kind of a, a funny question because the way I did this, the way this happened, I started doing the motorsports photography and I was having a lot of fun doing it. I'm like, well, what other sports are around here? Are there year round things? I contacted the golf course and the, the, the guy at the golf course said my photos were creepy, whatever the hell that means. So he didn't want me taking photos in the golf course. I contacted a softball league, shot one game. At that game, I wasn't made to feel very welcome. So during that time, I seen that this rodeo that is annual was coming and uh, I contacted them back in May and I said, Hey, I am a local photographer. I just started doing some motorsports. I would love to come out and shoot the rodeo for free. And they're like, no problem. We love photographers. Come on out. Cool. A few weeks later, I get my tickets in the mail. I'm, I start getting a little nervous, honestly. How is this different from motorsports? Well, I know motorsports, you want to showcase the speed of the vehicle. How do you photograph a bull? You got to freeze the action. So I did a little research, as you do. If you're not sure about something, always research. Google, use YouTube. I found different rodeo photographers and saw what they were doing. I'm like, okay, I can do this. I like doing a lot of behind the scenes things. Uh, you know, I'll take a picture of a trash can at a motorsports event. Why? Because, man, the, the, it's the shot. The shot looks good. I'm going to take a shot of it. That's what photography mostly is, is you're freezing a moment in time. That's the, the process I'm going to go through. So we met with the lady that was running it. Very nice lady. Her and her husband have been putting this on for close to 10 years. It's something they're very passionate about, and they do this because they love it. I appreciate that. So I meet her very nice lady we go in we start taking photos because she's like well can you get some shots of like the vendors and and things like that i'm like absolutely no problem there was a point in this day that i was completely dumbfounded confused and grateful all at the same damn time so we're walking around and we're taking photos of the vendors and we come up to this lemonade stand i forget what it's called but there's going to be a picture on the screen right now of what it is we're walking and the lady through the window goes, hey, would you like to try lemonade? The first thing I do is instinctively check my pocket. And I'm, I'm like, okay, I got, I got my pocket. All right. Uh, yeah, actually, I would. She starts making. I'm like, how much is it? She's like, $6, but don't worry about it. Huh? Okay. So they make these $6 lemonades. And here she is offering to give me one for free. Now at the time, I didn't know she was offering all three of us one. I thought she was just offering one. I was prepared to pay for it. She's like, no, I was so grateful because it was hot again. And that was the absolute perfect thing at the absolute perfect time. I take a drink of it and I'm blown away, man. This thing is so delicious. It's amazing. It was so good. It was sugar free, but it was sweet. Meanwhile, there's a line of people willing to pay $6 for a lemonade from this, from this uh, vendor. So the whole experience of the rodeo was just phenomenal. Um, being there, seeing their meeting, taking photos during the meeting where they're talking, they're getting each other amped up and seeing the crowd pour in. I was just blown away. I was like, holy crap. There's, the stands are almost full and there's a, still a line around the block. Like people love this here. The yeehaw time.
everything I touch turns to gold. All right, so the reason for the delay is that we're trying to let people come in, fill up the stands, and make it for a better show, which I agree. So there you go. My name is Mitch. I help run all the livestock around, make sure everything's set up and ready for all these riders and participants, get all the stuff done. I've been here since year one, so this is an uh, eight-year anniversary for all of us. It's really exciting. So I've never seen this place so packed before. This is amazing. I just want to jump in here real quick and switch gears and remind you to subscribe if you like the content. And remember to leave a thumbs up and a comment below. I really appreciate it. Now back to the video. The overall experience with this rodeo was very, very, very good. Meeting the lady that runs it, she was very nice, very hospitable, very appreciative that we were there. So again, I want to thank them for putting on the rodeo and allowing us to shoot it. I had a great time, great experience. Remember, all these photos are available on my PayHip store, payhip.com slash Jeff Gresham Photography. Make sure you stop by, pick up one, two, five, ten, fifteen, all of them. Hey, the more the merrier. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.